Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve WASI 2020 Elective Mathematics Paper 2 Question 9b. So for this question, we are asked to solve for x and y in the equations log into bracket x minus 1 plus 2 log y is equal to 2 log 3 and that's the first equation. And then we also have log x plus log y is equal to log 6. Now to solve this problem, there are some basic principles of logarithms that we need to apply. Now the first one is, if you have log a plus log b, then you want to multiply a and b so that you have log ab. Now if you have log a minus log b then it's equal to log a divided by b and then if you have n log a then it's equal to log a exponent n so these are the basic rules or principles we are going to apply to help us solve this problem now let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. Now from equation 1, we have log into bracket x minus 1 plus 2 log y is equal to 2 log 3. Now the first thing to do is to transfer these two to be an exponent of the y so that instead of having 2 log y, we have log y squared. And this is possible because of this property. Now we are going to do same for 2 log 3 to have log 3 exponent 2. So that's log x minus 1 plus log y exponent 2 is equal to log 3 exponent 2. And 3 exponent 2 is equal to 9. So we have log 9. Now, according to this property, log a plus log b is equal to log ab. So we are going to have log into brackets. We have y squared and then x minus 1. So we just multiplied x minus 1 and then y squared. And that's equal to log 9. Since we have log of the same base, that's log to the base 10 and then log to the base 10, we can cancel out the logs so that we have y squared into bracket x minus 1 is equal to 9. Now let's call this equation 3. Now for equation 2, we had log x plus log y is equal to log 6. Now because we are adding two logs, then we want to multiply x and y. So we are going to have log x times y is equal to log 6. And because we have log of the same base, then we are going to cancel out the logs. And then we have x, y is equal to 6. Now let's call this equation 4. Now, since equation 4 looks simpler as compared to equation 3, let's make x the subject from equation 4. So it means that we are going to divide through by y. So we have x to be equal to 6 divided by y, and that's equation 5. Now let's put equation 5 in equation 3. Don't forget that equation 3 was y squared into bracket x minus 1 is equal to 9. So we are going to have y squared into bracket x is equal to 6 divided by y. 
So we have 6 divided by y minus 1 is equal to 9. Now we are going to multiply y squared through. Now, y squared is equal to y times y. So we have 6y times y divided by y. And then we have y squared is equal to 9. Now, y cancels y. And then we have 6y minus y squared is equal to 9. Now, let's transpose 6y minus y squared to the right hand side now it's going to be because you have negative y squared it's going to be positive y squared and then because you have positive 6 it's going to be negative 6 and then we maintain positive 9 and that's equal to 0 now we want the factors of 9 that add up to negative 6 negative 3 minus 3 is equal to negative 6 and then negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to 9 so we are going to use negative 3 and negative 3 so that's going to be y squared minus 3y minus 3y plus 9 is equal to 0 so now we are going to perform some factorization so we are going to have y into brackets y minus 3 and then negative 3 into brackets y minus 3 and that's equal to 0 so we have y minus 3 and then y minus 3 is equal to 0 now y minus 3 is equal to 0 and y is equal to 3 now the same happens to this one and then y is equal to 3 so we have two values of y which is equal to 3. Now, let's put y is equal to 3 into equation 5. Now, from equation 5, x is equal to 6 divided by y. Now, we have y to be equal to 3, which means that 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So, we have x to be equal to 2. So, the values for x and y are 2 and 3 respectively so that's the end of this video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye